worth uh, telling. But anyway, Jay, I believe you have a friend with us today? Yeah. So, pl- again, please excuse the scuffness, but you know we, we do have a special treat for you guys. Um, we have a special guest uh, for our first episode here on Tavern Talk. Um, you may recognize his voice in certain games by a small indie company known as Blizzard Entertainment. Maybe you, maybe you guys heard of them, right? Anyone here ever heard of them? No? no probably not. But uh, please welcome. He's an amazing, talented voice actor. He's been a very good friend of me. He is the voice of Roadhog in Overwatch. <laughs> Oh, okay. Please, I'm starstruck. Guys. I'm already starstruck. I said I was going to be starstruck before this, but like, I'm. Oh, when I played Overwatch, I main Roadhog. This is just. Yeah. Please. I'm going to refrain. What's mine is oh, mine. Okay. That's what guys, <laughs> please let me introduce the voice of Roadhog, Josh Petersdorf. Yo! What's up, everybody? Oh. An applause. I love it. No, keep it going. Give me go. That was on my end, yeah. I, I, I'm also going. ready for production, you know. I got this. Absolutely amazing. It's great to be here on the Tavern Talk, hosted by Method, uh, bringing you the greatest talk from the taverns, from the apocalypse to the Alliance, back to the Horde, all the way. How did you get the name Super Pally? That's so, like, that's pretty rare. I'd say that's a pretty good name. Oh, I spelled a specific way. That's why oh, I told him. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Like but, a weird uh, you know, U or something. No, 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 no weird lettering. I just it's just spelled differently. It was like with P. Uh, it is P. You know, A L L I E. Like Pali. Like oh, right. Pali. Yeah. yeah. Pali. <laughs> Pali. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? I, you know, people were afraid of Super Pali. Okay. I thought it was a cool name at the time. Don't judge me. Yeah, I'm not gonna judge. My name was uh, my first tune was Plixar, like P L X, and then like Z O R after. It's like Plixar. <laughs> <laughs> Plix. Yeah, Plixar, and uh, yeah, and we had a what, what the hell soar and stuff as well. We we're like a little group of friends, and we just had stupid names. <laughs> not yeah. getting anywhere in the game, but yeah. The only yeah, the only name of my first character, which I still play now, but he did he has had a rename now. He's now Mechadan because he turned into a Mechadome because you know oh, yeah. last. Uh but no, um it's my it was literally just my surname reversed. <laughs> like it's uh, that's how creative I am. <laughs> we were really creative X amount of years ago. We had good brain <laughs> flowing through us. I think my character's name was Razwar and like all my characters were just uh variations of it, like Razwarette or Failswar or <laughs> Razina or <laughs> Is really now now i'm just you know i think i i, I recreated a paladin for 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 legion to, to do the storyline so and then i named it after my wife so it was like moon meteor or something ridiculous so there you go moon meteor. your wife moon yes. meteor moon meteor right Amazing. i was like moon I, yeah why not <laughs> that's what it's all about so then i have an excuse when i'm playing like babe i'm, I'm leveling your character i love you oh that's yeah doing this <laughs> doing this for you <laughs> what happened oh uh, it was oh god it was Tell so optimus fun. prime told you you were nothing <laughs> 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 no, i thought it was funny because like unless people who followed like your channel or like knew you like actively would follow your stuff they would they would know that that was you so everyone thought when that when that video went up like i just randomly showed up during Bliss, you know, over there, it was because during BlizzCon week, like, oh my god, whoever is doing that voice is a, is a, is a, is a diehard Blizzard fan. He was like, you said for the Alliance, because I, I didn't even say anything to you about anything with World of Warcraft. I didn't have anything World of Warcraft related on me. And people were like, what the heck? Oh, you know, Optimus Prime is for the Alliance. Oh, what the <laughs> hell is this? <laughs> and it went to like, in the first day of post, it went to like 50,000 views on Twitter, I think. <laughs> it was like 50,000 views. And then on Facebook, it had like 25,000. And then the funny thing is, like, no one knew for like the past two years because I we did the second time. Remember, because I came and saw you again in uh, in May um, when uh, I was visiting uh, the Blizzard campus, and uh, we did another video. But then it was the thing came. The truth came out officially at BlizzCon this past year because you finally told everybody like what you do, and everyone was messaging me. Like, that was Roadhog, and you didn't tell anybody. Oh, like, did you or or did you like did you know it was Roadhog? Did you did you know that that was? Think after the <laughs> <way I'm saying. laughs> you know, was, if I can, I want to tell that one story when when we were leaving. Uh, it was BlizzCon 2018. You had you just finished your panel with uh, with Geek and Sundry, oh, <laughs> and at yeah. this time, guys. Josh had what a his panel, uh, right? Face Darren completely... DePaul, Matt Mercer, yeah. everyone was on that thing. My God, like Josh's face was completely shaven, like so he had no beard, and 
it was one of the things that you couldn't believe it when you saw his face. So um, I remember uh, like the person who was in charge, like asking you, like, "Hey, do you want us to have someone escort you?" You're like, "No, nah, I'm with my boys. It's all good." <laughs> so we're, so we're that walking, was fun. <laughs> <laughs> we're walking. O- we were walking over to his to his car there, or his car's his car's parked at. And this one guy shows up, and this guy's wearing a Roadhog T-shirt, and he comes over randomly. He's like, he's like, "Hey, you know, aren't you aren't you uh, Jay the Bard?" I'm like, "Oh, oh yeah." <laughs> Can I get a picture with you? And he asked Josh <laughs> to hold the camera and take a picture. <laughs> and, you love telling that story, Jay. Like, <laughs> I bet he does. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I do. Heck yeah, I do. And then uh, he was like, he's like, uh, he was, Josh is like, yeah, man, Jay's a great guy, isn't he? It's like, yeah. And then Josh does a little quote, like a little, because like, oh, I love your shirt. He does the, the, one of the Roadhog quotes. And the guy's like, wow, I sound pretty close to like Roadhog. <laughs> and all of our friends are just sitting there just laughing their butts <laughs> off. Like this guy has no idea. To begin with, so thank you guys for all the support. Much love, much love. But Warcraft was the true dream when we did. When I got to, because Overwatch came first, and then they called me in to do Legion afterwards, and I was like, I've been playing this game for so long. <laughs> My friend abandoned me in Astronaut when I was level twenty-two, and four months later, I made it out into the Stone Talon Mountains at level thirty-one. And <laughs> <laughs> And ever since, I have been a fan. And they're like, that's great. Get in the booth. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Jay now is has been immortalized in the game as well. And Jay the Bard exists. It's true. It's oh, true. Yeah, I think you the told The tavern me about that, in Borolus. So Jay, explain to us, uh, what did it feel like when you won the BlizzCon talent competition and got immortalized in the game? You gonna put me on the spot like this? Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, I think. Well, I cried in front of like forty-five thousand people in the audience and How like a million that? watching at home. <laughs> um. But uh, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was touching. I thought you did such a great job, and it was. You could tell that you really deserved it, that you really loved it, and that it meant a lot to you. And I thought you that know, was really cool. It, well, it's one of those things like this, right? Because, like, I grew up, you know, playing... My very first game I owned was Warcraft 1 because uh, I didn't have a console. My older brother had the console at the Sega Genesis. So I'd go to my friend Philip, whose house was, like, right across the street from me. And I'd go over there and play Warcraft. His parents bought me my own copy for my birthday. So I kept um, playing, you know, that throughout the years. So to kind of be where I was at, I remember, um, you know, even just being there at BlizzCon was, it was, it was a crazy experience, you know? Um, and the thing was, I went there. I went there alone. Uh, I didn't know anybody there, right? Uh, so it was kind of, uh, it was kind of, you know, awkward because I didn't know, what, I didn't have anybody to really hang out with. But uh, I met, a, you know, a group out there named Club Tito's. Shout out to them that were very uh, welcoming and such, and uh, helped me kind of get my confidence going. Um, and when I went on stage, and you know, when, when they announced my name, I actually thought I was like, wait, is there someone else? Is there a fifth performer <laughs> out of the four of us? <laughs> I was like, there's no way it's me, and uh, I, I, I still can't believe it. And I, when they announced that I had a character in game, like they were telling me, they were telling me this. Uh, they told me it was a uh, Gary Plattner, um, who is the senior background artist for World of Warcraft at the time at Blizzard Entertainment, and he's still there. He got promoted recently. He had a really amazing panel these past two BlizzCons, um, he reached out to me right after the performance. He's like, hey, we want to talk about putting you in the game because it was already going online. There was a change.org thing for it and everything, and it was going on Twitter. Um, and he's like, here's my card. You know, let's, you know, let's talk about putting you, in the, putting you in the game. I reached out to him. I never heard back from him, really, other than like, hey, come back to me another time. So the day that the patch went out for, you know, for, uh, sorry, not patch, but the... Um, but the for PTR Boralis was up. People can explore Boralis. Um, my friends like you might want to you might want to go log in to the PTR. I'm like, well, who am I, Mr. GM? I don't log in a PTR. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Dan. <laughs> but I, I remember I was just kind of going around I'm like, oh, this is really cool. And um, I remember seeing the character who was originally I was outside, and I was like, no, no, this can't be. It's pretty insane. And, I remember I was uh, live streaming and I started fucking like losing my mind. I was like crying. I was just like, Ma, get the camera. <laughs> <laughs> they gave him the but, beanie uh, too. Like that was that was clutch. The beanie, you know what I the mean? Beanie, amazing. Yeah. Medieval, like medieval beanies are are in, dude. Like, <laughs> medieval beanies. By the way, 
Ian, Ian, remember, Ian, you said you were going to give Beanie's transmogs in this damn game. I want my transmogs. Um, but yeah, man, it was it's an experience that I still can't put to words at times. I mean, it's still a small thing for, I'm, I'm sure some people are like, oh, you're just an NPC. Yeah, but it means a lot to me. The third time I met him, was he was with another man who some of you might know by the name of Frank Welker. And Frank Welker to me is like a god. Like that's who I look up to the most in voice acting. Uh, he is basically Ray from Ghostbusters, Fred from Scooby-Doo. He's also Scooby-Doo. And he's uh, pretty much any, he's the hyenas in Lion King. He's Slimer in the real Ghostbusters. He's a million and a half voices. Frank Welker is Megatron in in Transformers. He's the opposite of Peter. And so a lot of the times I joke, like you get to have, you meet these people and you have a wonderful experience and you take this really shitty picture and you're like, man, that picture is <laughs> terrible, right? But the experience was awesome. But with Frank, I took this amazing picture. But I was like a babbling mess when I met him. I was like, I love you. I think you're amazing. <laughs> One day I just hope to be as impressive as you in the voice acting community. Well, and he's like, well, thanks. Thanks a lot. Well, welcome aboard. I'm like, you don't know how much this means to me. I really just, you know. <laughs> if you put your foot on the ground right now, I will lick and kiss that right now. And he was like, I, it's good security. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But we had this really like maybe it was more awkward for me. He probably you know doesn't remember because he meets a lot of people. But then we took this amazing picture, and it's on my Instagram somewhere uh, deep deep down a couple months ago or a year ago because I think it was like last March that I met. And the picture is amazing. It's me and like Peter Cullen and Frank Welker on my side. We all look like we're best friends, and <laughs> everything's going great. But my own personal memory from it was was very tarnished. So yeah, I have met Peter, and he's a class act. Shout out Peter Cullen for being so cool. It was an honor to be even mentioned in that. And like the picture they have, I was so embarrassed in that picture because everyone's like very happy and I'm like throwing up like squad goals <laughs> in the in the Rolling Stones picture. I have like my arms crossed like, what up? <laughs> Just finished, uh, you know, smoking out. Like, no, no. <laughs> it's like, everyone looked really professional and I'm on the ground like, mm, you watch I'm so impressed. And I can instantly tell how interesting you are when you mention things like AEW and everyone's like, what on earth is that? <laughs> what on earth is he talking Josh, about? Josh, when are you going to make your debut? You need, this is what you need to do. You need to go reach out to Sko and be like, hey, Sko, you and him are a tag team. <laughs> Good oh, training yeah. to be a tag team. <laughs> tag team. The bearded brothers of the North and East come together. It's <laughs> the Welshman and the Calabrian. <laughs> Got even more. I I think like thinking about like fanboying stuff. I I think the one person who I probably couldn't if I met I wouldn't get a word out is probably Dwayne Johnson. I think mm -hmm. I would like freak out. Yeah. Well, let's be let's be honest. He'd be like, "What you want to say something?" And you're about to say, "It doesn't matter what you're gonna say." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I think he's he'll be the one that I would be. I because he's just like you just look at him like he's a giant man. He's just like ridiculously great human being. I just don't That's how I feel when I'm backstage with like Darren and Matt. I'm like, hey guys, hey, you know, <laughs> we're all friends, but I'm still like, hold it in. <laughs> Matt always tells me to stop touching his hair. He's like, Josh, can you stop touching my hair? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just go over, I'm like, let me smell it. <sighs> no, <I'm just> like... <laughs> <laughs> it smells like lilacs and roses on them. I'm sure it does. <laughs> just so you know Matt Mercer's hair smells like <laughs> no <laughs> all that good stuff and uh, obviously follow Method on Twitter of course guys if you want to see more of this show this is actually the pilot episode if you do want to see more of this and more of us and various different guests and whatever do uh, tweet at Method or tweet at Bookmark or Andalyn saying yes we want more of this and we want to expand it we want to do more of yes. it and, uh, and all that good stuff but we really appreciate you guys coming here and, uh, and hanging out, and hanging out with Josh as well. Great guy. And, uh, yeah, Jay is going to sing us off as we say goodbye to everybody Please here on Twitch. understand, this, this was just a concept. I didn't, that I said I was working on as a joke thing to end it on. It's not, god dang it, Dan! Hey, this was really fun, and I hope you liked it too. It's like the stream had just begun, but suddenly we're through.
Goodbye, goodbye, Twitch stream, goodbye. And now it's time to go. But hey, I say, well, that's okay. Cause I'll see you next stream, I hope. The very next stream, I hope. Goodbye, goodbye, Twitch stream, goodbye. And the next one will be like today. Martin and Dan and the Tavern Bard will be waiting for you to come and play. So sub away, sub today. Goodbye now. <laughs>